up YouTube, it's Em. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. So today I'm getting a professional photo shoot done. I'm super, super stoked. Um, if any of you guys know me, it's been like a dream of mine just to like, I love photos. Like I'm always taking photos. We're going to start with my makeup. That chapstick. Um, this is from Burt's Bees. This is Coconut Cucum Cucumber Mint Stit Primer, the Professional from Baby Skin from Maybelline. I said from Baby Skin. It's called Baby Skin, but it's from Maybelline. It's the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. This smooths out your skin like a god. Like, and then usually it's really hard for me to apply makeup because this like is so good. My legs are like kind of burning. I don't know why. I think I put way too much lotion. Put a crap ton of this pore stuff on and just like smooth out like all of your pores and it just makes your skin like ready for a base i put this on my eyelids too elf eyebrow pencil and taupe this is really good i always usually do my hair first but we're doing makeup first so for foundation i'm gonna go with i've been using this l'oreal um infallible 203 new beige i'm gonna mix this in and the Born This Way foundation in snow because this is a little bit light and this is a little bit too dark. Literal go-to. It never disappoints when I have like photo events or like proms or stuff like that or dances where like you need your makeup to look good. It will just, you know, I always put a lot of foundation on because to me, if you don't have a good foundation, like why are you even trying? No, I'm just kidding. So we're going to take the damp Real Techniques Beauty Blender. I use the Wet n Wild concealer. I haven't used this baby in a long time, so I don't know how I like her, but we're gonna see. I haven't really been wearing a lot of makeup, you guys. I really haven't. Um, I've been like taking a break with it, just because I've been liking more my skin, I guess. I've literally haven't put this much makeup on in a while. I do have this Sony Kashuk Beauty Sponge. And this just perfectly goes underneath your eyes, like, and it's just, like, a really good, like, beauty blender. Like, you can see, like, the way it's made, like, you can just, like, because it's like this, you can, like, literally get up. This is more, like, thicker. Laura Mercier translucent powder. So we're going to set our under eyes. Just like this, and we're just going to take OG bronzer hula. This is so good. I've had this for a long time, and it's starting to hit pan. <laughs> Um, so we're just going to use this angled brush. You don't need to put too... Then you can put some, like, up here on your temple. I've been loving this Real Techniques blush brush. It's so fire. I'm loving this Too Faced Sweetheart Perfect Flush blush. It really, especially when you're not breaking out, if you're breaking out then I don't know if I'd recommend this, but it's so pretty. Later, I'm using the Morphe M510, and I'm using the Aurora Anastasia Glow Kit. It's so freaking good. Mine is unfortunately smashed. Ira, which is like the gold shade. I'm gonna use the Smashbox So Chill Coconut Water. Vina, Norvina in the Modern Renaissance. Literally on all special occasions, I always use these palettes. They just like never disappoint me. So just to set the lid, basically I'm going to use Tempura from the Modern Renaissance palette. Just to set it, I'm going to use a flat top synthetic brush from Vanity Planet. Next for the crease, this is the best crease brush. It's the Morphe M441. My dog chewed the other side of it. So thank you, Ruby, for that. Honestly, just to transition it, I'm going to use the shade Golden Ochre from this palette. It's just super... Um, like a super good transition shade tap off the excess and then just like start to put it in your crease the shade love which is just the pink and we're gonna take this shade red ochre and then a little bit of ventamine red just a tiny bit now I always gonna take a little bit of love letter which is like the pink a little bit too pink sometimes and a little bit of love and just put this underneath my lash line and we're gonna see how 
you know, a flat brush. We're going to take Dreamer, which is a really nice shade from the palette. And we're going to take some Mario Badesco stuff and just like highlight the inner corner. I think I'm going to do a liquid eyeshadow. This is the Tarte Sweet Life liquid eyeshadow. I've really been digging this one. So we're just going to put a lot on our like lid. We're so this makeup look is simple. It did take me a long time, I guess, but it's so worth it. So we're just going to open up this baby. And the thing is with mascara is that it could go so wrong. Like if I don't have good mascara, then like the look is literally like fricked. This isn't the waterproof one because I accidentally bought that one and I was like, do not like that at all because it's waterproof and it's like extremely difficult to get off. So we're just going to start. So this is the final like eyeshadow look and mascara. Next is we're going to line our lips with this Urban Decay lip liner in deep. I've been loving these buxom like sugar lip plumpers. They're so good finished look you guys i hope you enjoy 